today's topic is coding and decoding in this segment of common sense reasoning the words or letters or secret language has to be decoded first for decoding you have to identify the pattern or the code from which the word or secret message is coded let's start with type 1 The first type of coding and decoding is coding by letter shifting. So there are various types of coding and decoding. First type is coding by letter shifting. In coding by letter shifting there are various patterns. Let's first identify the first pattern. The first pattern is coding in forward sequence. Coding in forward sequence means in the alphabetical order we have to move forward in the alphabetical letters let's check first example first question is good coded as h p p e then how will you code good that means if the code of good is h p p e then how will you code good for this we have to first for this we have to first find the rule or we can say the pattern from which the good is coded as h p p e for this just write the first word like this put the downward arrow and then write the code here i am mentioning code then write the code below this that is h p p e from g to h you have to plus 1 g plus 1 is h same just check whether all of the letters are following the same pattern or not if i add plus 1 with o then i'll get p if i add plus 1 with o then i'll get t if i add plus 1 with d then i'll get e that means the first pattern which is shifting forward v are shifting forward g forward h o next alphabet is p o next alphabet is p and d the next alphabet is e that means v are shifting forward we found the pattern that is plus 1 the rule is plus 1 so we will apply this rule for the word bold to find the code for the word bold so i am writing the word bold here bold and you have to place the downward arrow like this the rule is forward or shifting one shifting by one in the forward direction of the alphabetical order so plus 1 i'll add one here so b the code for b by adding 1 will be c the code for o if i add 1 will be p the code for l if i add 1 will be m the code for d if i add 1 will be e so if the code for good is h p p e then the code for bold is c p m e so our answer is c p m e let's check another pattern that is the second pattern of this type our second pattern is pattern 2 pattern 2 is coding in backward coding in backward in the pattern 1 in the previous example we were moving forward here we will move backward let's check with one example so question is if name 
if name is coded as if name is coded as m z l p then how will you code then how will you code the word is same then how will you code same same rule will apply here similar rule which we applied in the previous example that is the first thing is you have to observe the word and the code this is the word and this is the code so observe the word and the code we have to write the word here and a m e just we did our in our previous example that is the downward arrow and mention the code the code is m z l d so the code is m z l d observe the pattern n m a z m l e d previous letter of this letter is the code that is we are moving backward so the pattern is coding in backward we are moving or we are going backward minus 1 n minus 1 is m a minus 1 is z m minus 1 is l and e minus 1 is d so this is the rule they are following the rule of minus 1 coding in backward moving backward so let's follow the same pattern we have identified the rule then apply this rule to find the code for s a m e so here here i am writing this word s a m e put the downward arrow apply the same rule of minus 1 minus 1 uh, if the same rule is applied to the entire word that is minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 so our answer will be s minus 1 is r a minus 1 is z m minus 1 is l and e minus 1 is d so our code for same is r z l d so this was the example of coding in backward s minus 1 r a minus 1 z m minus 1 l and e minus 1 is d so previous letter of this word now let's move to our third pattern so our third pattern is coding based on skipped sequence coding based on based on skipped sequence so third pattern in the same type is coding based on skip sequence we will see this type this pattern with one example let's check the example so question is if the word if the word fact f a c t if the word fact is coded as so the code for fact is i d f w then what will be the what will be the code of b 
टी हियर वी हैव टू फाइंड द कोड फॉर डी बाय अप्लाइंग द रूल ऑफ द गिवन कोड दैट इज फैक्ट इज कोडेड एज आई डी एफ डब्ल्यू वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द रूल एंड अप्लाई द सेम रूल विद द वर्ड डी टू फाइंड द कोड the type is coding based on skip sequence so let's write the word fact here f a c t we we'll put the downward arrow and the code for this is i d f w i d f w here from letter f to letter i i have to add 3 from letter a to letter d i have to add 3 that means the same rule of plus 3 is applied in the entire word fact plus 3 from c to f plus 3 from t to w that means this was the pattern of skip sequence here we are skipping letters to form a code if from a i have to reach i that means c from f if i have to reach i so there are two letters between f and r g and h there are two letters between f and i so instead of f i am writing i but i have skipped two letters so if from f i have to reach i i have to add number 3 from f to i 3 similarly from a to d so from a to d there are two letters in between but we are skipping these two letters and we are writing the third letter here we are writing the third letter so f to i plus 3 a to d plus 3 c to f plus 3 and t to w plus 3 same rule of plus 3 will be applied to find the code for d if i write the word d here then if we apply the same rule that is addition of 3 Plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three. Then the code for this will be G H This will be the code for D. That is G H H S. Why? Because if we apply the same rule of plus three, d plus three is g. You can verify d and g. Write the missing letter here. D E F. We have skipped these two letters and placed the third letter. The same thing which we did here. That means from F to I we skip these two. Here from D to G we skip these two and put the third letter g. so this is a code which is applied here so our answer is g h h s this is the code for the word d let's find some shortcut to solve the type 1 question so first shortcut is observe the code carefully you have to observe the question and the given code very carefully second is find the sequence it follows whether it is in ascending or descending order so after observing the question or the code you have to find the sequence this code follows that is whether it is in ascending order or descending order the third point is detect the rule in which the given word is coded and the last point is find the proper code find the proper code of the given question that means there will be one word given and the code of that word will be given you have to apply 
the rule which follows the given word and code to the given question and then the code will be and then you will get the proper code of that question.